Yo, yo, it's the fat red guy, man. And we are back with another video by Hammer Nation. My brother almost died 18 times. 18 times, bro. He's blessed to be alive. Hey, we about to get into the video. Hit the like, hit the sub. Okay, here we go, guys. I love that sound. Brenner, if you jump off this cliff right now, I'll give you a penny. <laughs> Bro, your oh. brother literally jumped off Hi, the cliff? I'm Bryson, and a while ago, I made a video about the times I almost died and the times I got hurt really bad. Okay. <clears throat> but that got me thinking about the other injuries in my family, and one sibling came to mind, one who had dodged the grasp of death more times than I can count. The sibling who had little to no regard for his own mortality and would regularly hurt himself. The wild child. Oh my child, God. The youngest brother, Brenner. This is gonna Brenner. be a long video because Brenner gets injured a lot. I don't want to cut out good stories or do a part two, so let's just sit down. <laughs> so you just gonna literally hit him with the Nerf gun, though? You know what I'm saying? You literally be a long video. Gonna just hit Brenner your brother with a Nerf gun? He got ran over by a car. Let's <laughs> say Nyarf, Nyarf, not Nerf, but Nyarf. Or do a part two, so let's just Look sit his down, brother. relax. Brenner had that situation. Luckily, I'm the youngest, so I didn't have to deal with that. But, hey, my brother and my sister, they was jealous because, hey, they had to wear the fake shoes, you know what I'm saying? But I had the Jordans and everything, you know what I'm saying? Hey, so I guess I was hated on a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, let's get back into it. And you attacked me for trouble. I will make no such promises. One time, me and Brennan were playing tag, and rather than be tagged by me, he jumped into a busy street and a car barely avoided him. I guess Brenner was more willing to die than lose at tag. Would you rather die a terrible death or- Definitely death. Wait, you didn't hear the other option. What? I genuinely don't know why he is so accident -proof. Yeah, now nah, that's wild, but we get a lot of people that just jump into incoming traffic, so I can understand. But this next story was no accident. You know how sometimes your mom has a really good friend, so she decides to make you hang out with her friend's children, but you don't like them? Yeah. When I was younger, my mom sent me and Brenner to play with the neighbor kids, Jake and Steven. The main- <laughs> I got a friend like that, bro, to this day, man. My sister's way older than him, but he, he still want to talk to her, you know what I'm saying? You you had one of them friends. It's kind of like the awkward conversation, bro, you want to have, like, bro, you know, stay away or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Shutting up. Anyways, I spent the day tolerating Jake's shenanigans, but eventually I hid from him on the front porch and watched Brenner and Steven play in the front yard. Come here, Brenner, I want to show you something. Brenner walked up to him, Steven grabbed his hand, reached into his pocket, and pulled out a pair of scissors and started cutting Brenner's fingers. What? Stop! I ran over to them to check on Brenner. His fingers were bleeding and he was crying. Oh, you I better hit him back. Steven's hand, grabbed him by the arm, and forced him inside to his mom. Bruh, hey, no. Nah. Steven just cut Brenner's fingers with scissors. Hmm? <sighs> hey, we ain't about to go in the house. This would have been... It would have been just like that, bro. It would have been just like that, bro. You 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 cutting my brother's hand, bro? Nah, we fighting. We fighting. Oh, I'm Steven. sorry. What? That's it? I was shocked. Call my mom right now so she can pick us up. We're leaving. We left and Brenner's oh, fingers Steven. just fine. But still, that reaction from the mom was not okay. Luckily, yeah. I never had to go to that family's house again. Reminds me of another time Brody was really young and another boy was punching him. My mom took the kid to his mom and told her that his son was hitting Brody. And all she did was say, <laughs> soft hands, Hunter. I mean, come on, soft hands? How about Bruh, punishing your kid ain't no for way. <laughs> you clearly don't know how to discipline My children. My mom wouldn't have Here, played that. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> yeah, big facts. <laughs> A lot of Brenner's injuries were caused by him wanting to grow up fast and to keep up with his older brothers. For example. My turn. Okay, he got the J. Ooh, he hit his son. Bryson doesn't need training wheels on his bike, so neither do I. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me try. Cracked his head. Brenner tried to set a trend that the other brothers would follow. 
and the consequences were severe. This next story is the real reason I made I used to love trampolines, though. I'm honestly though. still surprised that Brenner survived this. It was bad. In our basement, we had a tall exercise machine that looked like this. Brenner decided that he wanted to climb it and jump off it onto our beanbag for fun. However, this time hey. it went horribly wrong. I would have did that too. That looked fun. Close to the machine, climbed okay. up, and jumped head first with the same regard for his life that a Minecraft player has when seeing <laughs> one block of water at the bottom of a cliff. Not part Minecraft. The beanbag covered the exercise bench, which extended out, hiding the big metal part underneath. Oh. Brenner thought that since there was part of the beanbag there, it would be soft. But his head slammed through the beanbag into the metal Ooh, part and split his forehead wide open. My gosh. He had to get stitches <laughs> for that. <laughs> Mom and Brittany came running into Brenner crying with blood all over him. Oh, man. They freaked out and dashed him out of the house to take him to the hospital. I only caught a glimpse of him as they ran out, but I could tell it was bad. Dang, look at all that blood on the floor. They could see Brenner's skull through the gash in his head. Mm. My dad sent me to a friend's house so they could watch me while my parents took care of Brenner. I remember sitting on their stairs, terrified that I'd never see Brenner again. God, please hear my prayer. If you make Brenner be okay, I promise I'll never be mean to him again. Nah, that ain't how it happened, dog. Since Brenner was so accident prone, they kept pointing to cuts on his head that were from previous shenanigans. Is this cut old or new? Is this cut old or new? Is this old or new? Dang, Finally, so the doctor like, even confused. This, the gaping gash on his forehead, that is new. Forget the rest of it, fix that. Somehow the doctors patched him up. I think they even had a plastic surgeon involved in fixing his head. When I next saw Brenner, he was up on his feet with 25 stitches in his head. But he was okay. Phew! I thought you were gonna die, Brenner. I'm so glad you're okay. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you gon' what, bruh? Oh, nah, bruh. And, and they got a heaven list, bruh. So, hey, nah. Bruh, they crossing you off the list, bruh. You shouldn't have did that. Come on, Bryson. You that? You that savage that you gonna fart in his face? Okay. Bryson, yeah, he gets marked off the list. Scar across his forehead, but thanks to the doctors, he was okay. Brunner, can you please calm down on the injuries? You're gonna die if you're not careful. It's not hard to die. I could do it like right now, but like number two. <laughs> Another time, a young Brunner was using the bathroom and found a bottle of painkillers on the countertop. They were coated in a sugary okay. glaze to make them go down easier. So Brenner took the pills one by one and sucked on them till they ran out of sugar, then spat them out. He did this over and over and over, and from sucking on the pills, he got sick and passed out. I'm a tired. Ooh. Oh. Bruh, he had that much of a My sugar rush? My discovered Brenner unconscious on the bathroom floor surrounded Dang. by pills. What? <laughs> and once again, the doctors proved why it's good to go to college. N not for me, though, but as for you guys, good for you. I don't know how they saved him, honestly. I don't really know how doctors work. For all I know, they could have removed all of Brenner's blood, which was tainted with drugs, thrown it away, then pumped him up with fresh blood. I don't know. Another time, he swallowed a bunch of coins, and again, my parents rushed Whoa. him to the hospital where he was x-rayed to show a pile of coins in his stomach. They Is told he my good? They parents to dig through his, ahem, waist until they got all the coins. He was Sheesh! I know I would have been bad, man. I got nothing but coins. Uh, everywhere, bro. Pennies just be everywhere. I don't know why, bro. They just be everywhere in my room, bro. It's like a piggy bank, but way more disgusting. <laughs> he was like a piggy bank, but way more disgusting. Honestly, with how often Brenner visited the hospital, I'm surprised they didn't have a special section of the hospital just for him. This next Sheesh. story is surprisingly the only time that Brenner has ever broken a bone. Okay. I think at this point that he would have no bones left because of how often he gets hurt, but nope, yes. he still has bones. My family has a small motorcycle that we call Big Bertha. Okay. It's fun to ride around on, but it has no suspension. It is two wheels and a motor. That's it. One day, Brenner was driving it, and despite knowing that Big Bertha had no suspension, he decided to ride it off a curb. The bike okay. bounced, Brenner swerved and lost control, and he went head over handlebars. Oh my god, I know that hurt, bro! <laughs> he landed on his arm and totally snapped his wrist. One hospital trip later, Dang. And Brenner had a cast. He wanted his cast to be unique, so he asked me to paint it to look like Thanos' gauntlet. So I got the paint out and painted it as best I could to look like the gauntlet. It looked pretty okay. cool in my opinion. But then later, Brenner's arm got itchy. The doctors told him that his arm would be itchy at first, but that if he ignored it, the itchiness would go away. They also specifically told him to leave the cast alone and to not shove anything into the cast to try yes. to scratch his itch. 
However, Obvious. However, itch got the better of Brenner. So without consulting anyone, he grabbed Brody's glasses and started shoving the long end into his cast in an attempt to scratch his itch. He pulled the glasses out oh. and realized that the little rubber covering... I probably would do the same thing in that instance because itching, bruh, I cannot deal with it, bruh. I don't know about y'all, but it don't matter if it's a small itch. I just gotta... Uh, 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 uh. Just itch everywhere, bro. So slipped off, and it was now stuck. I would do the, the same thing. Determined to scratch his itch and recover the rubber cover, Brenner somehow removed all of the soft wrappings underneath the cast, leaving only the hard outer shell. Brenner had mm. scratched his itch and was satisfied. Then Mom walked in and saw what Brenner had done. <laughs> oh yeah, Mom ain't playing. <laughs> Mom ain't playing. <laughs> bro. You gonna get you gonna get beat worse than you did when you fell off that bike, bro. Moms ain't went playing. Went back to the hospital and explained the situation. Can you imagine being a doctor and setting someone up with a nice cast to help them heal, and the next thing you know, they ruined it? I feel like the maid. I just cleaned up this mess. Can we keep it clean for for ten minutes? <laughs> they had to cut off his Thanos cast and make another one for him. Brenner got home and asked me to paint his new cast. No, I spent a lot of time painting Yo. that last one, and you ruined it. Bruh, How do nah, I know you man. You ruin it again. Come on, man, just paint it again. I'm gonna just why, give why you a smiley face. That's it. Of your sloppiness. <laughs> so Brenner went around wearing a lame blue cast rather than a cool Thanos cast. A few months later, the doctors took off the cast, and they realized that Brenner's arm had healed crooked. It was literally what? like a 15 degree angle. My mom pointed this out, and the doctor said, Yeah, well, it's within the range of crookedness that we consider to be acceptable, so oh, we're just going to leave it. It's like within that. the range? What? That's easy for you to Bro, say. Bro, I got a crowbar as a hand. A crooked arm. <laughs> fix his arm and do it right this time. So the doctors explained that in order to fix it, they would have to re-break Brenner's arm, what? angle it correctly, and recast it. Do it. Wait, what? Hold Do it. Down. Wait, no. No. They had to break it. So they did oh. that, and Brenner's arm eventually healed correctly, but not okay. without pain. Now, you would think that after breaking his arm on Big Bertha, that Brenner would never touch that thing again, right? Nope. Let me tell you one last story. One day, me and Brenner got bored and decided to go for a ride. Him on Big Bertha and me on my go-kart. Okay. We chased each other around a parking lot, but then I thought, how can I make racing around more interesting? And my mind went to my favorite racing game, Mario Kart. You know, the game where you destroy your- Big facts, Mario Kart 8, that's my favorite. You know what I'm saying? I like I like racing with Bowser because that's my favorite character. But hey, y'all let me know. What's your favorite character? Do you like Mario Kart? Let's get back Enemies into it. by throwing items at them. So I decided to drive by Brenner and throw my flip-flops at him. We went back and forth throwing <laughs> flip-flops at each other like green shells for some time. Wow. Then I zoomed by and got a good flip-flop strike on Brenner. Whoa, he right to the to side of his face. Something stronger. He grabbed a big tree branch and drove towards Dang, me. Dang, you trying he to kill him, him ain't you? I out of the way. But the branch was so heavy that swinging it threw Brenner off balance. He swerved okay. and flew over the handlebars once more. Uh, into the vents! Freaking again! Dang! Brenner was scraped and bruised, but luckily nothing broke. And he finally learned his lesson, and he doesn't drive Big Bertha anymore. But I do. Bro! You got hit by like 10 cars. 10 car power <laughs> end of the video and yet that's not even all of Brenner's injuries but if I keep talking about them this video is going to be 30 minutes long and at that time hey it's it cool again let's quickly get through some last stories lightning round we visited a janky aquarium that let you swim with sharks and a bamboo shark bit Brenner's finger Brenner went to mm. a trampoline park attempted a stupid trick and landed on his head and had to wear a neck brace for a few weeks Brenner and Brody went kayaking Brody tried to splash Brenner with the paddle but it skipped off the water slammed into Brenner's face and cracked his front teeth a car almost hey, backed over him where's the belt in his life bro did, 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 did your parents believe in a belt bro obviously not because he wouldn't be doing all that if he had a family that believed in a belt you feel me no cap, bro. Let's get back into it. He hung onto the bumper while being dragged, and my sister stopped mm. to save him. His friend accidentally shot him in the forehead with a BB gun, and his forehead still has Ooh. a dent. In conclusion, Brenner's guardian angel is built different. Yeah. She has saved Brenner more times than I can count. He got the best he guardian angel in, him, in this world, bro. As he has grown, I think he has gotten a little less accident prone. 
Let's hope it keeps going in that direction, because I'm pretty sure he has used up all of his nine lives. God yeah. has sent his soul back to the living world so many times at this point that if Brenner shows up there again, God might just say, oh, forget it, and keep him. Well, hey, it could be worse. At least his soul is going to heaven. <laughs> hey, guys, it's me, your favorite Bryson. Thanks for watching. Hey, man, 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 that was crazy, though. You know, Brenner... Hey, I don't know. If you was with another family, <laughs> you about to be getting that belt, bro, every day, man. But, man, I know the bills had to come up, man. You had to have insurance. If you was dealing with a family with no insurance, with all them accidents, bro, you would have been, hey, I don't know how you would have survived or anything. Two casts, you know what I'm saying? You under a car, you know, you you in, you in Big Bertha, you know what I'm saying? You going through a fence, you know, it's just too much. You hitting your head, bro. You know what I'm saying? Jumping to the beanbag from the exercise machine. Just a whole lot of craziness. Y'all let me know, bro. Was this crazy? Is you is you like Brenner? Was you like Brenner when you was growing up? You let me know in the comments section, man. Hit that like. Hit that sub. I love you guys all. Hope you have a good Friday, man. It's the fat red guy, man. I'm signing out. You guys have a wonderful day, man.